हेलो दोस्तों गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन तो वेलकम टू द चैनल ऑफ गेट वाला दोस्तों तो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल द गुड एस्पिरेंट्स ऑफ गेट 2026 हार्ड और फुल एफर्ट्स एंड विद ऑल द डेडिकेशन तो इन दिस सेशन वी विल बी लुकिंग एट वेरी फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स दोस्तों दैट इज द ब्लूप्रिंट फॉर टॉपर्स दैट इज टॉपर्स प्रूवन प्रिपरेशन हैक लाइक हाउ यू कैन प्रिपेयर what all mistakes you should not commit and what all things you should follow so that you are a topper in your first attempt so dosto i am siddhar sabarwal two times air1 in gate to the uh, in gate electronics so in this session we will be talking about the proven hacks the proven techniques that you can follow to get a good rank not air1 to get a good rank like single digit or double digit rank so how many students are preparing for gate and they are having the target of like uh, good rank of uh, like single digit or double digit okay so start karte hain so doston in the preparation of gate you must have to be very alert you must have to be very focused that instead of remembering the formulas you should know the concept like from where this formula is coming what all concepts we have to apply what all things we have to remember while proving this formula because all the conditions are important like whenever you are studying or we are trying to prove any formula there are certain conditions so you should know that conditions you should know that if these condition fails then what will happen to the formula what changes will happen so these are the points where the gate exam focuses okay so it is very important that your goal should be that your goal should be concept clarity so your, your goal should be strong concepts plus pyq familiarity yeah you should be familiar with pyq you should know that what areas because generally uh, as a teacher we have to teach everything we cover all syllabus but as a student it's your responsibility that you should know that in gate exam what portion is being focused on by analyzing the pyqs you should know that which portion is important which is less important which is more important okay okay now dosto at a time you need to work on two subjects regularly like uh, the, uh, for uh, finish the core subjects two subjects at a time that is very important you should follow you should not follow standard books they are, they are not required you should follow the coaching notes theek okay? hai and don't run behind the multiple sources like never ever try to uh, go to two or three sources or more than two, one sources uh, whatever is available because many sources are available in the market you should focus only on single sources okay after every sub completion of the chapter you should solve the pyqs of last 15 to 20 years and you can like try to make a formula sheet or formula book and try to avoid mistakes like you should uh, try to avoid mistakes you should note down your mistakes that what all mistakes you are committing what all mistakes you commit frequently so these are very important points okay now second is convert the concepts into problems like right? uh, it is very important that uh, whenever you are learning any new concepts try to remember the concepts with the help of solved examples like in in classes as well we try to solve lot of questions we try to solve lot of questions uh, in the class so just try to link that questions with the concept you will be able to remember the concept for long duration okay so this is very important okay now topic wise and subject wise test is very important like is september now you should have started your test series by now like is first september tomorrow you should have started your test series by tomorrow okay for every test note down like what all concepts gap you followed like what all silly mistakes you committed what all issues you faced like time issues note down your concepts note down where you have problem what all concept gaps you have what all silly mistakes you committed what all time issues you faced okay and all these problems which you have noted down just go through them before attempting the next test okay before attempting the next test you should follow that Uh, you should know that what all mistakes you have committed in the previous test what all silly mistakes what all concepts you have gaps okay so that in these mistakes are not committed again in the next uh, test okay 
and after completing the topic wise and subject wise test always try to complete the mixed subject test okay which is very very important okay now dosto it's a very beautiful announcement that on 8th of september we are announcing a very very important thing for all of you that is nirman and it will be available on the gatewala channel on this channel as well stay tuned for that okay now uh, it is very important that be preparing for exam it is very important that you are not preparing for your you, you are not learning you are not studying for knowledge you are preparing for an exam a, a competitive exam so you should build uh, the competitive or exam temperament that is you should always give the online test series regularly it is very important to give all the test series regularly okay now strategy in exam hall your strategy should be uh, like this strategy can be prepared through the test series only like always sure shot uh, first of all uh, solve the easy question first then moderate one and then tough one so you should always solve the exam in three stages you should always solve the exam in three stages the first stage is solve the easy questions then the moderate ones and then the difficult ones okay don't chase attempt you should always chase the accuracy like generally we try to chase the attempt like for example 65 questions uh, is the number of questions in the gate exam you should not try to attempt 60 questions or 65 questions no your primary focus should be on accuracy okay because accuracy is always more than more important than the number of attempts accuracy is more than important than the number of attempts okay okay now it is very important that on the exam hall or in the on the exam day you should remember all the concepts that you have read so it is very important that you should recall and have confidence on it for that you should have completed two to three times the full time revision of the entire syllabus now I would say that all the difficult subjects, what all difficult subjects you feel that these are the difficult subjects or these are the core subjects. So those subjects should be revised three to four times minimum. And other basic subjects should be revised two to three times. Okay. You should focus on the formula sheet for the formula books, PYQs, and the weak areas that you have already noticed that these are my weak areas and the weak areas can be noticed from the test only like what all test series you are giving okay from the test only you can note down that these are the weak areas i have to focus more on them and avoid learning the uh, like for example uh, if you are like uh, september is going on like you are in december or january now in january or in last one month you should not try to learn new things you should focus more on in january In January, we should avoid the learning new topics. Rather, we should strengthen what you are learning or what you know already. That is, we should focus more on revision than learning new topics. Okay. Okay. So, these are the points that I have to make, dosto. If you have any doubt, I can help you out. If you have any doubt, two subject daily. Yes. How to prepare for subject daily? Like, uh, you should have a plan. For example, uh, your target should be you study around 10 to 12 hours daily. This should be your target. If you are a college going student, if you are a college going student, then your target should be around 10 to 12 hour daily studies should be there. Okay. Now, almost from for 10 to 12 hours, if you are studying, so it will be like 4 to 5 hours classes. Classes from where you are getting the classes, any coaching. Then after that, 2 hours revision of the previous. Okay, and the rest of the hours that is three to four hours, whatever whatever we have, you know, uh, study the new topics, study or revise the current subject, revise the current subject. So whatever current subject that you have, for example, um, you are going to four to five class, four to five hours classes daily. Four to five hours means two different subjects, one class each. Okay, two different subjects, one class each. Now, 
टू आवर्स शुड बी गिवन फॉर द रिविजन ऑफ द प्रीवियस टॉपिक एंड थ्री टू फोर आवर्स शुड बी गिवन फॉर द न्यू टॉपिक दैट यू आर स्टडिंग राइट नाउ इन द क्लासेस कॉलेज स्टूडेंट कैन गिव राइट आई वॉज ऑल्सो अ कॉलेज स्टूडेंट लाइक वॉट वॉज माई शेड्यूल आई कैन गिव यू द शेड्यूल जनरली आई वेक अप लाइक आई वॉज दिस वॉज माई शेड्यूल इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व गेट आई वॉज इन फाइनल ईयर एंड आई गॉट रैंक सिक्सटी वन ए आई आर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व सो वॉट वॉज माई शेड्यूल माई शेड्यूल वॉज दिस जनरली वेक अप एट फाइव ए एम इन द मॉर्निंग फाइव ए एम टू एट ए एम आई स्टडी सो थ्री आवर्स फ्रॉम हेयर वी कैन गेट ओके फ्रॉम देन एट ए एम आई जनरली गो टू कॉलेज देन फ्रॉम नाइन ए एम टू थ्री एम इज माई कॉलेज द कॉलेज इट सेल्फ लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव अ ब्रेक लंच ब्रेक or we have a uh, for example we have class bunk we have uh, app, uh, generally uh, like if t- any teacher is absent so uh, from from there we can get one hour but if i'm not getting any any class any time uh, in the college i used to sit in the like uh, during the lecture in the college i used to sit at the back like sabse kone mein in the corner and i used to solve the questions i used to solve pyqs so we can say that from 9 am to 3 pm i will get around 1 hour so yeah, i'll get around 1 hour now 3 pm i am at home pm to 4 pm i used to okay then from 4 pm to like continuously not on a stretch to 12 i used to study now from here you can say that sir we need time for dinner obviously you will have, you need time for dinner you need time from some other activities so you can say that from 4 pm to 12 you need almost 1 hour or 1 and a half hour for example 1 and a half hour for like dinner for roaming around for everything else okay so if you can like calculate this 3 plus 1 4 and from here we can say uh, we can almost get 5 hours almost get 5 to 6 hours each. 5 to 6 hours so 6 Seven at nine, ten. Around ten hours, you can we can easily get on the weekdays. On weekends, we can try try twelve hours. Okay, so like this, you can easily get it. Sir, please uh, give blessing. My name is this. Uh, currently, all the best, my dear brother. Any how to revise any complete subject? How to utilize the P? So. Uh, If you want to do revision, uh, the revision has to be done in like this way. Like we have, we have to do uh, three to four revisions of the bigger subject. Three to four revisions. First revision of any big subject should be the target should be fifteen days. The target should be fifteen days. Now in this fifteen days, you have to revise the note. You have to uh, solve the PYQs. You have to solve the workbook that is given to you. Okay, so you have to revise the notes, highlight the notes. You have to highlight the important points. Okay. Then you have to solve PYQs. You have to solve the workbook, and then this should be the target to be completed in twelve to thirteen days. Then in next two days, attempt all the tests. attempt all the tests of the test series like part syllabus full syllabus all the tests of that particular subject you should complete it then only you can say the revision is complete now this much time will be taken in first revision then in the second revision only have to go through the notes only the highlighted concepts or you can like for highlighted concepts has to be revised other topics in the notes can be just go through it thank you You have to only go through the star mark questions. Workbook also you have to go through the star mark questions. Okay. So second revision will take around six days. Okay. And similarly, third revision you don't have to attempt the PYQs. You don't have to attempt the workbook. Only go through the notes. It will take around two to three days. That's it. So like this, you have to do the revision. Okay. So to total, how many seats will be in SC category through GT? Is there some approximation? How to manage service college? Um. 
कम्युनिकेशन के क्वेश्चन टफ लग रहे हैं तो कम्युनिकेशन में आपको वो फोकस करना चाहिए जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल आप कहते हो कि सर कम्युनिकेशन टफ है तो इन दैट सीन आर यू कैन फोकस ऑन और यू कैन से दैट तो इफ कम्युनिकेशन इज टफ देन यू कैन फोकस ऑन द टॉपिक लाइक एनलॉग कम्युनिकेशन यू कैन फोकस ऑन इंफॉर्मेशन थ्योरी यू कैन फोकस ऑन डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन पार्ट यू कैन फोकस ऑन मैप एंड एम एन रूल यू कैन स्किप द नॉइस पार्ट यू कैन स्किप द रैंडम वेरिएबल रैंडम प्रोसेस पार्ट विच इज टफ थिंक इट्स टफ सो विथ कॉलेज यू कैन ऑल ऑल यू कैन डू दिस बिकॉज ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स लाइक जनरली हु आर गेटिंग गुड रैंक्स इन गेट एग्जाम आर जनरली कॉलेज गोइंग तो विद द कॉलेज यू कैन इजीली मैनेज इट कॉलेज के साथ साथ इजीली मैनेज हो सकता है यू ओनली हैव टू फोकस लाइक योर प्रायोरिटी शुड बी गेट एग्जाम देन इजीली यू कैन हैंडल योर कॉलेज ओके तो एनी अदर डाउट्स मेरे बच्चों एनी अदर डाउट्स तो आई थिंक ऑल द पॉइंट दैट आई हैव टू कवर आई ऑलरेडी कवर्ड Thank you dear students bye bye and take care we'll continue to have sessions like this on this channel thank you bye bye and i hope all of you will do your hard work for a good rank and get exam thank you